Love and light, everybody, and happy first day of the Gregorian calendar new year. I'm Ayanza J. Muse, bringing you your first moon daily tarot draw of the calendar year 2024. And the general question was about how to take all of the emotions and turn it into things that can be used for the highest good throughout 2024. And the answer that came was from the daughter of discs. Now in this suit, the discs are the equivalent to pentacles or uh, money. And as you can see from the artwork here, Miss Thang is standing in the middle of her own sacred circle with her home tucked off in the cut in the background. And what the message of this card is saying is that you already have everything you need to manifest what it is you want. Because she's holding her mirror up to the heavens and it's resonating with her third eye. So see, she's channeling the divine all the way throughout her body. And of course, the nudity is an example of complete self-vulnerability inside your own circle of protection. And all of this symbolizes having everything you need already in you to manifest what it is that you're asking the heavens for. And this definitely, this is a, of course a feminine reading, but it goes for the masculine too, especially those of you fellas out there that aren't too in touch with your emotions. Your emotions is also a currency of your spiritual intelligence. So when you're contemplating things, figuring things out, don't count out the nurture baby because the intuition, the waters that intuitively flow, they're at their highest when you let yourself flow. The message from the heaven can come in and then you're protected from everything around you that's against it. So focused on the heavens. Keep your home tucked off in the cut. And what this means is be mindful of who you allow into your home, your heart, or in any type of space of your secrets. Ashe. And then flipping the deck, I asked where some of this energy was coming from. And then flipping the deck... We got the Priestess of Cups, and both of these cards showed up completely upright. So what this is saying is, as many of you have been in a space of self-reflection, many of you have been in a space of deep emotion, because the Priestess of Cups is half person, half femme, and Orisha tradition, that's Yamaja or Lokun energy, that also speaks a lot to Capricorn season, with uh, being the half, half fish. They don't have the half goat part, but we do have the half fish part. And the half fish part is what's swimming through your deepest emotions to get what you need to climb to the highest point of your mountaintops. So we're in a space of processing our emotions and everything that is stirring up inside coming to the surface. So this is something that has already been going on with many of you. And now... The spirit is calling you to cast your circle of protection, which means be very mindful who you let into your personal space and use what you already have and what you already know to manifest what it is you desire. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. Should you need a personal read, then by all means, visit the link in my profile to book your session. And as always, make sure you tune in to the 24-7 Groove of 222.9 The Mothership, internet radio for the road less traveled. Moon days, the blue days are dedicated to the mothers of R&B soul. Ashe.